think it's just not for the time out of all here. The players are really tired. Uh, Jeff has been in a 20, and he has not called one at all. He set up with his first foul. Let's give you updated in the team foul category. Sunk is the penalty hot dogs with 13 fouls. Three twenty to go. Another Jamming Jamming in is the Bangladesh down there. Well, the lineup, you know, Yoyo is scoring, Balin is scoring, the Victoria hitting that three-point shot, back to three-point lead for Sanko. Everybody a producer there. Redfield, not on this trip, and misses with a giant rebound. Chuck really needs a timeout. He's got to let those players rest. Those guys are tired by the way. Redfield beginning to miss those outside shots. Oh, what a good steal. Redfield takes it away. Really good in for him. Yes. A little of everything. Straight to Alvin. He goes up. Block. Pulling it. Holds the trophy up. Yep. Good timing there by Victoria. Alvin had to walk the gauntlet in that play. Let's start to finish. Bang, bang, bang. That is a big issue. Bear hell at work. Monell. Boyden, shot clock reduced to five. Boyden leaves in, no. Redfield picks it up. Yes. Redfield is tired. Redfield is tired. He has to have to go up the offense, carrying the ball, driving one on one, shooting three point shots. So really, we should be those three and twenty. Foul was on Victoria. Five for Boyditz. He has missed some free throws because definitely he's been tired. That's why he needed a timeout. That tells you everything. And he needed a timeout. Again. 95 93, two minutes and seven seconds left. Just a two point differential here in favor of Santos. As we enter the last two minutes. Brought to you by McKibben's Premium Vodka. Now, that's the spirit. Now we've seen a lot of spirit here tonight. Menezes is wide open. That's true. Time out by Chuck Ray. It's championship night, and it's almost like championship night. And as far as these two are concerned, it is like a championship night. That means we take a look at the free throws. They see how many pure footsers missed 15 footsers to five. They cannot complain. They have been given 41 free throws already in this ball game, and that's a lot. And a minute and 40 seconds remaining. Four point lead by Sanchez. They need a two. They don't need a three. They get a three five, but they need a two. Alvin cuts in. Can't get a pass. Shot clock at seven. It doesn't work. Grandison could not reach for it. That was a big three point shot by Kakashi, which he usually can't make. Yes. He has that wire, the open and the look. Now the time is one minute and 26 seconds left. Four point lead here for Sanchez. Timeout situations, both teams have two apiece plus the 20 second. Pure Foods is not yet in the penalty, but it doesn't work for them unless they can tie or take a lead. Huh? Redfield whips it inside. Grandison is down on the floor. Shot clock at 17. That's not get back. Redfield. No. Van Nel balling it. And Jerry Codinger is brushed away. Then Redfield is still down on the floor and there's no rush for Sankis. They can use the clock, a minute and five left. Some clock is down to 13. Bring them in. Anderson misses. Codinger takes it away. Did he call a timeout? Yes. Long talk. Alvin! 
the worst shot taken of that point would be plenty of time, no timeouts were called, and the players still don't know how to use that, I think. And a foul, give it up. I say I was saying about well, eight seconds between gate clap and shot clap. I think you just have to play good defense, deny the throw in. Now the fans will find out whether they start they go to home or not. <laughs> if Sanki scores, I think some of them will continue to be out. But if they do not, okay. well, given up, but um, that's not fair. <laughs> now they have to ball again. Or to go for a steal, hoping that they can force a steal. Maybe that was the whole strategy because they thought that they could steal from the inbound. And chance of a second over the 24 second block. Uh, well, in that case, now you know what Joe Freya's strategy was all along by saving those timeouts. He was going to use the foul because he was behind and give up the foul and then have the timeout left. Madison will be shooting a pair, 22.27 to Quite your time, right? out of seven, 24.23 rebounds. What is steady game. Not the best free throw shooter. Maybe Chuck knew that, having had coaching. And now very important rebound play as we see Balingit come back in for us. I don't know, so substitution of coaching in the part of Pumahan. Well, that's what they have to do. Now they have to get back to the line. Now they have to get back to the line. Now they have to get back to Well, really was short. <laughs> no slips <switch> there. <laughs> Let's go. Now you have that time out. Uh, we shall hang on to the air. In any event, the schedule at the Araneta Coliseum for game number four of this series is scheduled at 6.30 in the evening, but we will be on the air as early as 6 o'clock. Well, it's one game only. Alaska Milkman conquered Santa Lucia again for its third straight victory against that team who beat them three times in a row in the elimination of quarters. 99-94. Alaska looking very good for the championship. 